Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb. You made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth... Did you catch his name? Whose name? The minister's. Do you remember what he said? Nothing disrespectful. I, Lawson Colby, being of sound and disposing my memory, and not acting under direct menace, fraud, or undue influence of any person whatever, do make, publish, and declare this my last will and testament in the manner of following, that is to say, I bequeath to my daughter, Beth Constantine, the following. As someone who preached against the degradation money and idleness brings, your father certainly invested well. Blue chips, glamour issues, even some flyers into harness racing and sugar contracts. A nice estate even after taxes. Are we really rich now, Daddy? Well, let's just say we're a little freer. Huh? <laughs> Free enough for me to have a horse? Oh, sure, in our apartment in New York. Doctor said about pets. Dumb doctor. What do we do with the money? something called Lost Whistle Bridge? <laughs> Flemish landscape. folks lost? I guess we took a wrong turn. Not hard for a person to do, this side of the last whistle. Well, we're glad we did. It's beautiful here. Is this your land? Yeah. It pleases me that you like it. <gasps> How come you don't use machinery? Against the ways. Religious ways? No, just tradition. Tractors and such like wouldn't give us a chance to do it together. 
Seeding the ground is an act of love. It has to be done with the hand. What do you plant? Corn. We are. I'd like to live out here. Oh, look over there. Look at that. How do you like that one? almost 200 years old. Wouldn't it be fun to pick up a plate like this? On arriving at the lodgings of the three friends, D'Artagnan found them assembled in the same chamber. Athos was meditating. Porthos was twisting his mustache. Aramis was saying his we prayers must appear? in a charming little book of ours bound in blue velvet. What do you say we ask? Dear, Any friend of Dumas' fair would make I a terrific neighbor. Or else, oh, I warn on. you, I will not pardon you for making you come here. Yes, who is it? We were wondering about the house across the street. Interested in it, are you? Uh, yeah. It's not for sale. It's a wonderful old house. But the plumbing's bad. And the roof leaks. And the owner refuses to sell. You know where the owner is? I'm sorry, but it wouldn't do any good, believe me. Well, look, in case he changes his mind, uh, here's our number in New York. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sort of a brigadoonish type place. You know, a place frozen in time. No.
fast blue joints, no neon signs. Can you imagine sitting with those good, simple people? Talking. I mean, discussing things that really matter. City mice into country mice? Is that it? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what would Nick do, plant corn? What would you do? Have you thought about that? You notice anything peculiar about them? Peculiar? Here in the graveyard? In the common where I snapped the cake with a lamb? Here in the fields where they were plowing? <sighs> that old woman in black with a white thing on her head. In every picture. Do you remember seeing it? No. Could you, uh, hold on one second, please? To Maggie Dodd in Cornwall Coombe. Are we still interested in the house? Are we? I don't believe it. You? A coffee table book? Yes. Well, those sketches of rural American life, you know, New England barns, and tools, customs, country lore, that kind of thing. With a text to explain it all. You know, uh, barns and cow chips don't exactly go over like sex-starved nymphettes in a little bondage. <laughs> look, David, I know... Yeah, you looked. I didn't say no. It's liable to end up at Knopf, and I'm back to dust jacket blur. I'll need a complete outline and a complete series of sketches. You got it. Thanks, friend. You know, Nick, it wouldn't hurt if you could uncover some gothic horror. Nice axe murder. A little incest, maybe. In Cornwall Coombe? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Come on. Remember what we promised ourselves. We don't go any higher than 42 5. We are never going to get it for that. Now, yeah, what's the name? Let's hear what I got for you. I got eggs because. Eggs because. Eggs and eggs, nice and tender. Go on, have a look now. Look at this, baby. Good morning. Mr. and Mrs. Constantine, Robert. Hello. You've come about the house, have you? Would you know where the owner might be? The widow Fortune's expecting you. the woman that was in those photos. <laughs> huh. Huh. Look at that. Grace Everdeen was either the village punch or its first woman's liver. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, look where she's buried. Fortune. I'm Nicholas Constantine. My wife, Beth. We were told that you... You've got the 